So the year 1985 is a very important time, especially for video gamers, because two things happen. I mean, I was born and I give you video game entertainment, but more importantly, the video game industry was transformed in the United States with the launch of the Nintendo Entertainment System, or more commonly known as the NES. This really revitalized the video game industry after the crash of 1983 and brought about just a whole new sense of video games. Of course, now it's a multi-billion dollar industry, bigger than the movie industry, bigger than the music industry, but really the NES is kind of what helped start all of this to make it this huge huge medium that we all love today. Now, I originally got my NES back in 1991, and it was in a plastic bag because my uncle had just gotten a Sega Genesis Model 1 with Sonic the Hedgehog, so he gave me his NES at Christmas time in a plastic bag. So I never got the joy of opening an NES. I never got that satisfaction until now because on the website called whatnot which i've talked about before on this channel it's basically a live auction website where you could buy video games sneakers toys pokemon cards all sorts of fun collectible stuff i stumbled across a nes control deck complete in box and i was like you know what I want to buy this. I had some credit because if you sign up using the link in the description box and pinned comment down below, you get $10 to spend. But if you spend that $10, that website also gives me $10. So I had a little bit of credit rounded up and I decided to pay, take the plunge. I decided to buy this because I thought it would be a fun experience. You know, I'm not really collecting retro stuff anymore, but if I can make a fun and entertaining video about it, I'll definitely snag it. And I think we can make a very interesting video on this because the box of this system has some very interesting terminology so what's it like to unbox an nes control deck in the year of 2022 for the first time ever that's what we're going to do on today's video so if this is your first time on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button like and share the video but without any further ado let's check this bad boy out all right, so here we have it, the Nintendo Entertainment System Control Deck. Now, they made a bunch of different variants of these. I'm not really sure which variant of the Control Deck this one is, but this definitely came out after Super Mario Bros. 3. You'll see why I know that in just a minute. But I really find the packaging of this box just so interesting because they wanted to do everything but call it like a video game console. You know, there's a lot of terminology on here that we wouldn't use today when describing you know, a video game console, the most challenging video game system ever developed, astonishing game graphics, realistic 3D images, vivid colors and sound, powerful accessories, game cartridge not included. You go buy your own game cartridge, but I really like this box. You know, you have like the, the star motif on here and you have the blue going with this. Like it, it's very, very aesthetically pleasing. It's a gorgeous looking box. And that's really one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. So there's a bunch of stuff on here. Let's just flip it over, take a look at the back of it. We'll take a look at the side panels in just a moment. But there's so much interesting terminology used on this because you can really tell what Nintendo was trying to do at this time wasn't necessarily make a video game console and then just have you buy the console. They wanted you to buy other stuff. They wanted you to buy all the crazy accessories they talked about because that was like big money for them. That was potentially lost money that they were going to get. All right, so here's the back of the box where we have lots of interesting terminology that's like sprinkled throughout here that I kind of just want to go over. Nintendo brings home all the excitement of real arcade video because you go to the arcade to watch a video or something? I don't know. Take control with this exciting video game system developed exclusively by Nintendo. The control deck allows you to experience the most challenging and exciting video games ever. You'll get advanced technology that will bring you and your family depths of play for unending challenge and adventure. Astounding game graphics. Realistic 3D images. Okay. Convincing depth of field and vivid colors all jump right off of your TV screen. Because you know... Those beautiful CRTs back in the, you know, late 80s with the, uh, God, there, there was no beautiful color. Stop the cap, Nintendo. Your control deck is built for expandability. This is where I find it very interesting because they really wanted you to buy other stuff to go along with this. Just hook up an NES Advantage or an NES Max and you'll get ready to get into action with these powerful video game accessories. And now with the help of the NES Satellite or the 4Score, any combination of 1 to 4 players can team up for specifically designed 4 player games. We at Nintendo are always working hard towards developing the most advanced accessories for your control deck. That That's very interesting because you don't really see 
Nintendo doing many accessories anymore to expand upon things. But back when this system came out, like that was a big deal. That was what they wanted you to do. To be sure you're getting a genuine Nintendo approved product, always look for the official Nintendo seal of quality. We'll keep adding excitement that will keep you and your family on the edge of your seats. So I just found this very, very interesting because they're selling you the system, but they're really wanting to sell you the accessories on the system as well more so than just the system itself which kind of goes against what nintendo does nowadays looking at the side panels here we can see some of the software that's going to be available for our new nes entertainment system there's super mario brothers 3 that's how i know this came out after super mario brothers 3 some interesting titles here you know your your basic nes stuff just stuff that they wanted to promote interesting that the uh action play football is on there though because that game was game was garbage and then on the other side we kind of have what we were just talking about with the accessories because it's just like hey buy all these accessories buy the nes advantage and buy the the four score and you, you need to get everything like you need to get the power you need to get everything you need to get everything so nintendo definitely wanted you to buy this system and buy more from it i love i love the back image here of like this family playing like dad is like rearing up his hand to like punch the little kid he's like you did better than me you little son of a bitch like that, that's how it plays out in my head I, I don't know but you know domestic abuse is not a good thing family abuse is not a good thing but let's open this bad boy up now all right so as you can see here there is some slight damage on this portion of the box beyond that though the box is indeed very very crispy and this isn't a new system or anything like that you know it's obviously been played and kept like we can see this this bubble wrap i'm sure i don't know it actually looks pretty old and disgusting so maybe it is maybe it is like original bubble wrap here move that off to the side and here we have it folks here we have the beautiful nintendo entertainment system we have the instruction manual which we'll take a look at in just a second here is the nes console itself still in the original styrofoam the top styrofoam is indeed missing but this is the original styrofoam everyone knows what this system looks like i, I will say this is a very clean looking system the seller that i got it from obviously did a pretty good job here with uh cleaning everything up it does look very nice this is the let's see nes 001 I guess that really doesn't make a difference. We have our video input here, which is always nice. We have our RF switch, power, channel three or channel four, because that's how you used to play video games back in the day, kitties. And then of course we have our RF adapter, should we want to hook it up to a coax cable, which I mean, nobody should want to do that. Like there's so many better options to play your system nowadays. We have the, the power brick. It's, it's a big one. It's a big one. You had to have these big power bricks back in the day. And, of course, the two controllers. But let's take a look at the uh, instruction booklet for this because I'm sure there's lots of interesting things here. Controllers seem in decent shape. This one kind of looks like, I don't know, maybe a dog got a hold of this and chewed it up a little bit. But that's fine. I have a million NES controllers. All right. So here's our instruction booklet for the control deck. The control deck that puts you in control of incredible fun. One, two, three controls in here. And basically, you know, this is just going to be standard stuff. How to set up your NES, connecting to your television, 90-day warranties, all that sort of fun stuff that nobody really cares about. You know, this was foreign concepts, though, at this time. Not, not a lot of people knew, you know, what this system was, how easy it was to hook up. We have the AV cables on this one. We, of course, have the RF adapter on this one. VHF screws. You remember that? Holy crap, man. TVs have come a long, a very long way. Connecting your NES components because you have to connect everything to it. How to put in the controller? I'm like, come on, man. I feel like people could figure that out. Changing game packs. So that's kind of interesting. Not a video game cartridge, but a game pack. An NES game pack. And that shows you how to start up your Nintendo Entertainment System over here. Return your TV to regular program viewing. I don't want to, I just wanna play video games. Some things you shouldn't do after you finish playing, be sure to remove the game pack from the chamber. That's interesting, because most people just leave like their games in there. Do not drop, hang, or abuse the NES components. Do not pull or yank on the NES wires. Pretty basic stuff here. A lot of troubleshooting here, you know, 
TV screen doesn't come on, no gameplay field image on screen, but screen is lit. Basically, hey, clean, clean your cartridges. A lot of just very interesting terminology. Obviously, we have come a very long way since the NES and cartridge based systems. Although I guess everything just kind of comes back to how it was. You have your 90 day limited warranty here. Oh, look, this is cool. So we could see the prices of what things were going to be if you wanted to buy it from Nintendo themselves. So an NES adapter or an AC adapter was 12 bucks, a controller for $15. AV cables were cheap. This is this is actually very very cool. 3D glasses for 2 bucks. Game pack manual for $1.25, man. That's crazy. So you could just buy the manual, specify what game pack or game map. You can get maps for a dollar. This is actually very cool. I didn't I didn't know this was in here. So I like this just because this obviously is a very very different time frame of when you would when you would buy stuff here and then you would fill out all your information here allow four to six weeks for delivery we cannot accept cash stamps personal checks or cod orders so they're not accepting much of anything here but that's that's honestly very cool i i like this i like because this is a, this is obviously a relic of video games So yeah, there you have it, the NES Control Deck, a system that definitely revolutionized the video game industry and really helped bring it to what it is today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have some more unboxings of stuff coming up in the future for systems that I never had or never had complete in box. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you did, be sure to comment on the video, like and share it around, and I will be doing more of these. But yeah, I just thought it was a fun little trip down memory lane because it's an experience I never got to have back when I was a kid. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, and share the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.